Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Rachel from SomeRootsWander.com. Today's video, we're gonna do a Summer 22 fashion haul. I have clothes from Zara, J. Crew, ASOS, Aritzia. So I'm really excited to show you what I got uh, for this upcoming warm season. This is the first fashion related video I've ever done on my channel. So I am excited to do something different and to show you guys a different side of me because I do like fashion. Um, I don't think I'm very fashionable, um, but I really do enjoy wearing nice clothes and dressing up, so I'm excited to show you guys that side of me. First thing I'm gonna show you guys is a dress and a hat that I got from a boutique shop in Belfont, PA with my mom when I went home to visit in May. Um, she actually did buy these for me, um, so that was really nice of her to get me something, um, but she, actually picked this dress out and she's like, I think this would look great on you. And I really love it. It's like a peachy coral color. It has the ruching, I think that's what it's called on top. So it's very stretchy. And then the bottom has this flowy little end piece here. Um, I am gonna show you guys cutaway so you can actually see what the dress and the clothing looks like on me. Um, I really like this, it's really comfortable. It is a size large. I was surprised that a large fit me because normally I'm an extra large. Um, the only complaint I have about this is that it's very see-through, um, which I'll show you in the cutaways, but you actually can see the tattoo I have on my side. Um, and you definitely can't wear black underwear. You have to wear like a nude or a beige color underwear with this. But this dress is so cute, it's very comfortable. Um, it's very casual, so I'm excited to wear this. I have not worn it yet. And I've been trying to get more coral pieces into my wardrobe, so this is the first one that I was able to get. So I'm excited to add this to my wardrobe and see how much I wear it this summer. And the second thing that I got from the shop was just this brown Rathata uh, woven hat. And I have one of these already where the trim around the hat is black, but I wanted one that was in brown. And this has just a different, a little bit of a different shape than the other one I have. So you can wear these hats with whatever. You can wear them with a dress. You can wear them with a linen shirt and some pants. Um, they're very versatile. They're very trending. Um, so yeah, this is something that I think a lot of people have in their wardrobes and I just wanted another one. The third thing that um, I got at the little boutique by the Thread in Belfont was this hairband. It's like a natural woven hairband, very similar to the hat. And I got this because I've always wanted to wear headbands, but I can never find anything that fit well and that didn't hurt my head or dig into my head like right here behind my ears, but this is really comfortable. And I think it just is kind of nice to dress up an outfit a little bit with a headband. I'm just gonna throw it on right now. Uh, yeah, so that looks cute. So if I wanted to do like a day to night type look and dress myself up a little bit because I never do my hair, I just kind of let it go all natural. I would just plop this headband on and go ahead and go out to dinner or drinks or whatever. So yeah, so this is the third item that I got from By The Thread. If you're ever in downtown Belfont, Pennsylvania, I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, the shop owner was super nice and friendly and helpful and all the clothing um, was very cute and I am a bigger girl. I'm a size 16 or extra large and I was able to find things that I can wear there, which was nice. Cause normally in those like little um, independently owned boutiques, it's like very hard for me to find clothes that fit. Um, so this was really cool that I was able to find something there that I could wear. So the next few things I'm gonna show you are all in the same color scheme. I didn't realize when I was purchasing my items for this year that everything that I was buying was like an oatmeal, beige, white, cream, and blue color, um, but it is. So now my wardrobe is pretty much white and blue, which is fine. Um, I do wear those colors a lot and they kind of go with everything. Um, but this is the dress that I got from Aritzia. I have never 
shopped at Aritzia before and I am really impressed with the quality of this dress. This dress gives me major Bridgerton vibes. The first time I tried it on, I just had the Bridgerton theme song playing in my head and felt like a princess. Um, it definitely has that empire waist that you see in a lot of the Bridgerton outfits and it has a little bit of the lace trimming around the neckline and it has puff sleeves and then it just flows down into a straight dress and this is this color is depending on the lighting and how you look at it it's blue but it's almost like a lavender purple um, so it's really pretty my only complaint about this dress is that the neckline is quite low i did have to put on a balconette style bra in order for my bra not to show um, and I am a little bit nervous about wearing it like if you if I bend over I feel like you might see some of my bra um, but if I wash this then maybe it'll shrink up a little bit I haven't washed it yet so the next item that I got for this upcoming year is from H&M and I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this because it's a little bit baggier than I normally like to wear my dresses but I ended up keeping it because it was comfortable and it felt like a dress that you could wear on a really hot day. It is made of a cotton linen blend and I did have to size down because it was an oversized fit so I got a large in this. And this is just like a little shirt dress. I normally don't buy fast fashion pieces or shop at H&M but I wanted to give them a try again. However, I do have a rule that if I am buying fast fashion that the materials have to be natural. So it has to be linen, it has to be or, uh, cotton, preferably organic cotton um, or silk. And this is like a linen cotton blend, so it did fall into that category. And I think it's really cute and I hope to get some wears out of it this summer. Okay, so the next two pieces I have for you are from J. Crew. They are very similar. Um, I got their linen shorts in this oatmeal color. I also got their linen wide leg trousers in the same color. I tried on many different pairs of linen pants and shorts this year, and J. Crews were the only pair that fit me uh, across the thighs because I do have bigger thighs. And of course, the quality is much better than some of the fast fashion stores that I tried on linen shorts from. So, yeah, I'm really pleased with these and I can't wait to wear them. They do have new colors out now on the website. They have blue, so I think I am going to get um, at least the shorts in the blue color. I did order a couple more tank tops from Everlane to go with these. I think the shorts and the trousers would look really cute with just a simple tank, some jewelry, uh, maybe the new hat that I got and a pair of sandals or a pair of Converse's. So the next item I purchased for this year, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this um, because it is long sleeve and it is a maxi skirt but it is this dress from Zara and this is the first time that I ever purchased anything from Zara and I'm not really sure how I feel about them. I ordered some of their shorts and they were really 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 small even the extra extra large I could couldn't even get them on really. So their bottoms seem to be really small so it's probably not going to work for me being a size 16 and being really curvy um, but this dress did work for me and I like I said I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it because it was long sleeve and because it was maxi but it is made of 100% viscose so it is breathable and I think this is a dress that I can wear all seasons. Um, you can wear it in the spring when it's still cool out. You can wear it in the summer on a cool day or at night when it's cooler. Um, you can wear this in the fall with some boots. You can wear this in the winter with boots and tights and a, a coat on top. Um, so I did decide to keep this because you can dress it up or dress it down. I think I would even wear my Converse's with this or sandals or like I said boots when it's um, colder and it did fit me really nicely and I love the puff sleeve. Um, I always, I am a sucker for a puff sleeve so I really like this dress and I definitely think I'll get more wear out of it when it gets cooler. Okay, so the next items I got from ASOS 
ASOS, not sure how to pronounce that. I haven't ordered too much from here either. And I did get a lot of dresses from there and they were too long. I am 5'4", so it's hard to find plus size items that are also for short petite girls like me. But I did find a couple things that I liked and this dress I have already worn twice I believe and I know that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this dress because it has like this vintage um, Parisian vibe to it and I just absolutely love it and I think it looks amazing on me. This might be my favorite piece that I've bought so far this year but it's just this gorgeous strike dress. I absolutely love it and it has buttons going down of course these are um, you know, these buttons don't actually button, so they're just kind of for style. This is 100% cotton. Again, it's the blue and white color scheme. I will probably wear my harachas with this. I'm gonna wear my converses with this. Uh, you know, when it gets cooler, I'm probably gonna put like a white t-shirt under this. So there's a lot of ways to wear this. And like I said, it's, it's definitely one of my favorites out of the entire haul. So the next item that I got from ASOS is my Dorothy skirt. I wore this out the other day and I think I had maybe four or five different people say, you know, you look like Dorothy. And it's definitely the blue gingham. Um, and it has pockets, it has really big pockets. And I absolutely love this. It has that crinkly material similar to the H&M dress that I got and it's 100% cotton. I've worn this with just a basic white top. Um, you can wear it with a tank top. You could probably wear it with uh, a linen shirt as well. And I wore it with my Converse's or you could wear it with sandals. Um, I know I'm definitely gonna get a lot of wear out of this because it has a waistband. Um, so it's stretchy and it's comfortable. And I'm hoping to eventually maybe get some red slide-on flats and that would really um, up the Dorothy vibes with this. So yeah, I love this. So cute, I've already worn it um, and I definitely will be wearing it a lot more this summer. So the last thing that I got from ASOS is this uh, crossbody mint teal sage color purse. And I really have been drawn to this sage mint color um, this year. And I wanted to get a cheaper uh, purse to see if I would wear it because to be honest, I'm not really a purse girl. Um, I wear like one purse in the summer and wear one purse in the fall and that's about it. But I thought this might be cute to give some of my outfits just like a pop of color. And so I got this and it is a little small on the inside so there's not too much that you can hold in here other than like your phone and you know keys wallet um, but i want to see how often i wear this and if i do end up wearing it a lot i think i am going to get like a better quality higher end purse that's this color maybe in this size um, i can't wear a purse that's not a crossbody because i like to have my hands free um, when i go out but you can move this chain up um, it takes a little bit of work, but you can move this chain up so it can be like a purse that you hold. Um, you can just like throw it over your shoulder or of course you can wear it as a crossbody as well. Um, but it's cute and I'm curious to see how much use I get out of it um, and what outfits I can style this with this year. So the last thing in today's haul is this pair of espadrilles from Saludos. And I've wanted a pair of espadil ugh, espadrilles for a while, um, actually since last year, and I ended up getting the Haracha sandals last year instead. So this year I got these. I originally ordered them with a heel, and I tried walking in them, and I was like, no, this isn't gonna work. I, I cannot wear heels, I have to have flats. Um, so I did get them as a flat. I have not worn them yet. Um, but they are made of linen, so they should stretch out a little bit and mold to my foot. I'm excited to wear these with dresses and skirts, and you could even I could probably even wear them with the linen shorts that I got from J. Crew. So I'm excited to style these up this summer and see how comfortable they are. And if I do end up really liking these, I think I'll probably get them in like a cream color as well. Um, or maybe in some other colors so that way they match with more stuff and I have more options to style these. 
So that is the end of my summer 2022 haul. There are a few more items that I am looking to get this summer if I can find something that fits me. Um, particularly, I'm looking for a pair of tailored linen shorts and I've tried on so many but none of them have fit me yet. So I'm looking for the perfect fit in linen tailored shorts and I am looking for a brown sandal. So if I do find those this year, I will let you guys know in an upcoming video. Um, but I do hope you like this video for this week. I know it is different from what I normally do with the vlogs. Um, and if you do like it, let me know in the comments below and I can do more fashion and haul related videos in the future. Um, until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and have a wonderful summer and I will see you in the next video.